RAG has become a cornerstone of generative AI applications. The reason is that RAG combines the power of retrieval and generation models to improve natural language processing tasks. In simpler words, what it means is that if you want the LLMs to talk to your own document and then provide your users an augmented answer, then we use RAG. In RAG, a retrieval model first searches a database or knowledge base to find relevant information and then a generation model uses its retrieved information to generate a response or output. This approach enables a generation model to leverage the retrieved context and knowledge to produce more accurate, grounded, informative and coherent answer for your users. In this video, we will be looking at yet another framework which is called as FastTrack. FastTrack is a research framework for efficient and optimized retrieval augmented generative pipelines incorporating state-of-the-art LLMs and information retrieval. FastTrack is designed to empower researchers and developers with a comprehensive toolset for advanced retrieval augmented generation. In this video, we will be installing this FastTrack with Haystack and then we will also look at an end-to-end -end pipeline uh, with the help of FastTrack and Haystack. FastTrack leverages Haystack's pipelining abstraction. Haystack is an end-to-end -end LLM framework that allows you to build applications powered by LLMs, transformer models, vector search and much more. Whether you want to perform retrieval augmented generation or RAG, document search, question answering or generation, Haystack can orchestrate SOTA embedding LLMs and models into pipelines to build end-to-end -end NLP applications and you can use it for a lot of use cases. I already have covered Haystack in a few other videos if you're interested. Okay, now having said that, let me take to you to my VM, which has been very generously sponsored by our very good friends at Mast Compute. So if you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I would highly recommend them. I will drop the link to their website in video description plus I'm going to put a coupon and if you use that coupon you are going to get a 50% discount on an already discounted GPU offering with no lock-in and quite flexible in terms of conditions which are very very few. So highly recommend it and very thankful for them for providing the VM and the GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 which I'm going to show you now. So this is my Ubuntu VM from Mast Compute and this is a GPU card which they have very graciously given a 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Also make sure that you have Conda installed which will keep everything separate from your local installation. So let me create the Conda environment. I'm just calling it fast track. Gonna take too long to create this. Just press Y here and it is going to create the environment for you here. Let's step into that environment by activating it and you will see in the parenthesis on the left. Let's clear the screen. In the next step, let's install all the prerequisites which install, which include Torch, Transformers, Haystack, Accelerate and a few other things. So let me install it. Let's wait for it to finish. So that is done. Let's also install the Hays uh, Lama CPP Haystack, which is an integration of Haystack with Lama CPP. Lama CPP is a C++ library in order to do the inference with LLMs locally. That is also done. Let me clear the screen. Now let me fire up my Python interpreter and then now let's try to get this thing installed and configured and then we will do the RAG pipeline with it. Let's first import all of the libraries which we have just installed that is done and as a sample data let me paste here some of the json dictionary you can put your own data here so if i just go up this is just a wikipedia articles um so it's a document collection of wikipedia article with document id some of the text there then title and then id that sort of stuff okay so it is stored in this dictionary Let's create an in-memory document store where we will store this and I have just defined it and we have imported everything from the haystack. That is the beauty of haystack that it provides this sort of abstraction. Let's also give it 
the document so what i'm doing here in that store i'm putting the documents by just using this store dot write document function and you see it is telling me there are 10 documents let's get the define the retriever now there are two components of rag pipeline one is retriever and the other one is re-ranker retrievers a task is to retrieve the semantically similar information from the vector store where you have defined and re-ranker simply returns top three similar results after ranking them i already have done a lot of videos on rag architecture and this if you're interested just search my channel and you will get to know more so retriever is to retrieve all the information which is similar to our prompt from this vector store and then ranker just ranks it and then returns the top three okay let's grab some of the haystack integration so we'll be using llama cpp that is done let's define our prompt and this is just a prompt which is capturing all of the documents which we have grabbed that is done and then now let's create a generator with llama cpp and in this one i'm just specifying this marconi 7 billion model you can use your own embedding model there are heaps of them and embedding mo models or sentence transformer models are the one which are used for semantic search if you want to learn more i just did a video on sentence transformer so just type trans sentence transformer in the channel and you should be able to get it i already have downloaded this model on my local system and it is present in this models directory let me quickly show you uh, on the hugging uh, face page of this model so this is the model so all you need to go uh, do is to go to huggingface.co just search for this marconi 7 billion and the block has done the quantize one just scroll down click on files once you click on files you'll be presented with a lot of this quantized version quantized means that uh, from the full model the precision has been reduced from floating point 32 to maybe you know uh, int 8 or something like that just to reduce the size and so that will it will fit on our memory you see there are a lot of quantization here i have i believe downloaded this one before km just scroll down right click on this download and grab the link and then just use wget to download or if you are on windows just simply right click and save on your disk okay, let's so we all i already have that from there i have just issued this generator command to load our model into this llama cpp generator one let's warm up the generator which means that we are going to load this model on our gpu so let me take above so what is happening here is it has just load sorry, it has just loaded the model on our gpu and this is all the architecture and of the model that how many layers it has how many bedding length the rope which is rope theta and tokenizer layers heads kv cache lot of stuff logits a lot of stuff is there if you are interested you can search through it this is the whole architecture of the model so all the components of rag pipeline are defined we have our retriever we have our ranker we have our model and we have our own document on which we want to do the rag let's define a pipeline and in this one we will add all of these components which we have defined we have defined this retriever and then we have defined this re ranker and then we have also defined our prompt which we defined our this is a prompt template which we have defined and then we have our own generator and by the way haystack supports a lot of other generators too if you are interested okay let's connect all of them together and by connecting i'm just using this command you see so as soon as you connect all of the components are connected now in a very very nice way so a retriever is this one this is a read anchor this is a prompt builder and this is a llama cpp generator okay so all the components are now done let's do the rag here so the prompt which i'm asking it who is the main villain in a lot of the things now the document which we sample one which we gave it as that 
uh, information so it is going to match it and then return us a similar one so this is my question let's run the pipeline which we defined above and you just run it with pipe dot run you give it read anchor prompt retriever and all that stuff it is working so let's wait for it to come back it is going to store the result in the result variable it takes a bit of a time and the more data you would have the more time it is going to take and this is working on llama cpp which is very slow so if you have a way you know more advanced more powerful generator then it is going to work fast so in the production environment you should be using any other generator okay so let's wait for it to come back so it has come back and it is just telling us how much time um, it took the so total time it took it is around um, you know this much millisecond and the tokens it retrieved was 394 let's print the result there you go so saw on so this is a correct answer which it has uh, responded in lieu of this question and then this is present in our this document all of it so what you can do you can put your own data here you can just feed in your own question and it is going to give you the match so this is an end-to-end -end rag pipeline all local all private by using all free models with the haystack which you can build now and then knit it together in your own application because both fast track and haystack these are these are the frameworks these are built to be included in your own applications so that's it guys i hope that you found it useful i will put all of this code in my blog and i will drop the link in video's description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching